Hey friend, what's up? As you could tell, there's something different with my face today, or missing. Yes, the brows, they're gone. Did I shave my eyebrows for a YouTube video? Am I that crazy? Well, my boyfriend freaked out about it when I showed him and subscribe for more videos. Every Monday and Friday, twice on this YouTube channel of not only beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos, talking about creepy, weird stories. Because I've been doing makeup in the movie industry and on YouTube for like, eight years now so it gets really creative and interesting and fun here so hit that notification bell for some more this is just makeup guys a little concealer a little corrector but it's because we're gonna try some products unboxing some makeup and trying out some products said product is the tattoo eyebrow stencils apparently i found these on tiktok from this person talking about how you could just cut these and then do like a temporary tattoo situation with a damp cloth to slap some new eyebrows on your face. I don't know if it could go on top of this concealer. I try to use a full coverage foundation concealer method that I hope is a little bit water resistant. I'm using Uma Beauty's Say What Foundation, is it? Yes, with uh, e.l.f.'s Camo Concealer. And speaking of e.l.f., we are gonna be unboxing the new Chipotle collaboration with e.l.f. Yes. I wish I didn't do my foundation because there's a sponge in here that I'm really excited about and it says extra hot caution extra hot ah, so exciting I don't think I've done an unboxing on oh my gosh my YouTube before probably because it's so difficult and large but while it's hot introducing our new limited collection featuring essentials from beauty essentials it's okay to be a little extra elf Chipotle, but it's like shiny, like the burrito foil at Chipotle. Oh my gosh, this is making me hungry. Open up inside, and what is inside? But the thing that I'm most excited about that I won't be able to try in this video little avocado sponge. I need to show this to y'all in case you have not seen it on the internet. I've been stalking Elf like a crazy woman to look at this sponge. Oh, it is a two in one. So they don't fit into each other. I thought they would. Oh, there's a little guacamole picture. I thought this would fit into here. I don't know why I'm sad it doesn't, but it looks like a little avocado. How cute. And Elf sponges are so good. I'm excited. And let's not forget the palette. Look how cute. Again, the logo with the foil, like the foil burrito. And we have some beautiful colors of lettuce and guac and pinto beans. I love how they're all titled food related items. If I could open it. Ooh, this color's pretty. I wish they had the names under them because that plastic was the only thing that said the names. But this is so cute. We have guacamole, lettuce, pinto beans, fajita, I think this is. So pretty. And we have a hot salsa lippy gloss. How pretty. I can't wait to try these. So let's slap on these eyebrows so we could try this makeup by e.l.f. So first of all, oh my gosh, that's a lot of different. I didn't know there's two packs in here. I'm excited. And this was affordable. Do they have instructions? Let's see. I don't know. I might just rewatch the TikTok. I'll link the TikTok down below where I found these and found out about them. I got them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're around $10 or less. No instructions, great. But they do have a perforated edge on where, so one side's the drawing, and one side's the actual, I'm guessing the sticky part that you put on your eyebrow area, and you press it down to hopefully make it stick. So first of all, let's cut these out to the actual, like around where the stickiness is, I'm guessing. They have kind of a perforated faint line where I can tell the adhesive is, where the eyebrows are hopefully gonna stick on my face. I hope this works out. First impression, they smell weird. They smell like a weird adhesive. I don't know how to describe it. So hopefully this doesn't work and I don't end up being in like the worst case scenarios of like the Gorilla Glue scenario that's been happening to that poor girl's hair on TikTok. Have you seen that? All right, so, oh, that's why they have the drawn on version. Okay, I see. This is gonna be a lot higher, I feel like, than my natural brow. It's a lot different too. Am I almost gonna have a unibrow situation? I literally have no instructions on how to do this, so I'm gonna put it on for a minute. 30 seconds to a minute, let me get a timer because I don't trust myself. 
I feel like that would be about the time. You want to line it up where you kind of want. Yeah, that looks good, right? Let me get the other one. Gosh, this would go horribly wrong real quick. Like I could look like seagulls are flocking onto my forehead. These are so long compared to my brows. <sighs> Wish me luck, all prayers. Oh my God. I need to say a prayer because I am so nervous. All right, clear part is off. I think this is the adhesive side. I'm pretty sure and this is the drawn side to see where you want it. And then we're just gonna leave it on there. Yeah, for a minute. I look like I'm in pain so far. We have 20 seconds left. I'm like getting hot on how nervous I am. <gasps> Time's up. Oh my gosh. Huh, kind of worked. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to fix the concealer, but I'm gonna wait till this side's done. Wow. I look angry, but <laughs> hopefully, I think a minute's the key. Let's do the other side. Sweet baby Jesus, please have this work. Not once, but twice and not make me look too angry. It's hard to get the placement on there. I hope that's correct, yeah, there. Minute, I'm trying not to get it on that side to ruin that eyebrow. Not that it's pristine or anything. We don't have like an art piece, but we have to clean her up later. Like I could look severely like I'm in shock or have had something similar if I don't do these like balanced. Oh my God, there's the timer. <gasps> Wait, let me clean this up and we will see. Let me just get more concealer and powder. I'm excited. I honestly had no hopes for this. Now that it's on, I have a little bit more hope. It definitely does not look like my brows. I look more angry. Oh my gosh, I'm not shading anyone on YouTube, but this would fit like Bailey, Saria, Nikki Tutorials, people that have very like taller faces than me and who could carry this style of brow. I don't think I could carry this style of brow. Again, not knocking anyone, just saying my artistic ideas. Let's powder her. I feel like if, see how there's a shine? I don't know if you can notice, but I wanna make it look more as natural as it could be. So it's a large powder brush cat, I know. Let's see if we can knock some of that shine and not only that, set the concealer we just did. Honestly, these could be believable. Like I'm highly surprised. I used the translucent RCMA, but now I'm using a more skin tone, yellowy Danessa Myricks. And I'm also gonna go back in with some of my contour on my face that could have gone. I'm like highly surprised. Like up close, I have a million layers of concealer to be honest. So they're kind of shiny. There, I could see the lines of the product where the adhesive starts and my skin begins, but I, as a makeup artist, maybe that's just my eye, my refined eye, and as everyday people, I don't know, I could still tell, like, unless I have like a heavy bang. If they looked a little better, I would like them more. I feel like they could be a little better. They're not as seamless as I'd like them to be, but for the price, they're pretty good. I'll put the listing for these down below. Maybe with eye makeup, it'll look better. Let's try that. I know this video title is shocking, but if I literally temporary tattooed my brows or if I got them actually tattooed, I feel like they would look like this and I don't, I'm not here for it. But this is such an interesting video to me because I have so many family Asian members, including myself that want to buy the tattoo pin brow stuff and want to know what our brows would look like tattooed because us Asian girls struggle with our br tattoo, like brow structure to be honest. But honestly, I look angry. Let's do this eye makeup. So thinking this through, you know me and orange eyeshadow, so I gotta use the orange. I love gold, it's gonna use that, and I love purple, it's not in here, but just saying, this might be closest to purple. The fajita, I think it is. But like tattoos, have you ever gotten something that like you tried for the first time and you regret it instantly? Like, was it a tattoo? Or like something not, almost or not as made, well, like a beauty treatment that you expected to turn out okay or good. I remember my first VidCon, I decided to not only shave my arms for the first time, but I got my first wax hair removal and I waxed my underarms and it was so bad guys that my skin was not only bleeding, but the rashes on them raised so thick into like almost like a scar tissue situation it was so terrible and you know me i just went to the one wax place across the street from my friend's house i didn't know she hadn't even been gone going to that long she only went because they were so cheap 
and I regret it. I regretted it so bad. I had laser hair removal too on my under armpits. Even after that situation, I don't regret that, but it didn't all the way get my underarm hairs all done. Even though I went for like seven treatments is the recommended, what they recommended me for like my texture and length because I don't have really massive amounts of hair. Thank goodness to my Asian mother. But then some Asian, all the boys in my Asian family have a lot of hair. So I don't know. Don't believe the stereotypes. I remember I wanted to get my TMI armpits done before my you know what done because one of my best friends said she got hers done down south and they accidentally dripped the wax inside of her. So I'm like, I'll just stick to laser on my armpits and do nothing else. And to be honest, like once you grow up and get older, like hair is just hair and I feel like it's so superficial to want to look like a baby child, but that's just me. Everyone has a preference, I guess, too. I feel like a semi-pumpkin queen with this makeup look so far, and I'm loving it. Like, this palette is honestly, uh, it's just missing some black for it to give me total Halloween autumn vibes, which I'm here for. So I'm going to use some of the green here. Is it because I feel like the green and the brown totally pulls my eye color into the makeup look? This green color is called Lettuce. All right, I'm gonna get the gold color in here, which is corn salsa, and put that in my inner corner. I'm totally looking like Halloween vibes. Honestly, has anyone seen the show Over the Garden Wall? I feel like if they had an eyeshadow palette, it'd be these colors. I don't know what it is about it. I love it. Now to pull in the corn salsa color, I'm getting this neon yellow cream gel liner from ColourPop in the color CRSSD. And y'all know it's not a cat sketch video or makeup look unless I have an extreme highlight on my upper lip that makes it look like I've been sweating under the Chipotle lights in the restaurant forever. This is my favorite highlighter of all time. This is Flexitarian by ColourPop. I'm gonna pop on some liner. I'm gonna use Huda, 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 Huda. Very Vanta Extreme Black Liner. I think I got this in just a boxy charm or something. And the packaging super cute. I don't have many Huda Beauties products because they're scented so heavily and they're just very very heavy a lot of them but i'm gonna try this one just do a black liner throw on some lashes and a lip and we'll be done and i'll give my final review let me just and just like that we are done like i don't know if it's the seams or the shininess or just they're so heavy long and low on my face but these brows are just not the tea for me. I just look so angry for some reason or it might be just me and my brain thinking that. Also for reference, these brows smell so strong. Even just wearing them, I could smell them. It's weird, but I have a very strong sense of smell, personally. I tried the new gloss by e.l.f. and Chipotle. This is the Make It Hot Lip Plumping Gloss. Oh, that's why it burns lip pumper that they use I think fake cinnamon in here because it's very cinnamony so if you're allergic to fake cinnamon this does burn at first so it's not my favorite but I do love the eyeshadows I haven't tried the guacamole two-piece sponge I just am telling you two pieces because I didn't know this was a duo two-piece I thought it was a whole avocado looking thing these brows, I am just now noticing how important brows are to frame your face and they don't make me feel or look like myself. So it's really hard to get used to just in a however long this video is. But if you want to try them, try them. I might do other things with them. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do another video featuring these brows because I have very creative ideas for it. Also, this Huda Beauty eyeliner is so thick and gloopy. I don't like it, even though it does have a very matte black and pigmented look. It's very hard to work with how thick it is, so I wouldn't recommend it. Subscribe for more videos like this. We do two videos a week every Monday and Friday here on this channel. Also doing makeup effects videos, body paintings, and other fun stuff while telling creepy stories. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Thank you all again so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.